Okay, so this graph shows uh, the pattern of boiling and melting points for linear alkanes. Well, you wouldn't know that until I added these uh, axes, though. Let's spend a little more time on the x-axis. So I'm going to choose 4 on the x-axis. So that will be the fourth alkane, C4H10, which would be butane. Don't forget the general formula for alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. Now we understand that, let's consider the 15th alkane. But not until we've looked at the labels on the graph, of course, melting and boiling point. Should have put that in earlier. So the 15th alkane, just by following the pattern, we can work out the boiling point and the melting point without any problem. Now the reason there's this nice pattern is that uh, every time we go one more down a homologous series, you add a CH2 unit every time. And that means there's more electrons. And more electrons means more van der Waals, which is the same as London dispersion forces. So I'm increasing the intermolecular force each time. Therefore, the boiling and melting points will increase.